It's hard for me to focus on myself. When the world around me is burning a slow, torturous death with everyone fearfully maintaining a six-foot distance from one another. We can't hear each other's last words from behind these masks at this distance, but at least it keeps us feeling a little more safe in the last moments. My people, my distant siblings are being beaten, battered, burned, and brought back to life from the dead in the form of fabricated fables formatted to feed the feeble-minded foes that enforce our American society. They fixate on the fiction to help them rest easy. They say things like, they deserve it. They shouldn't have been out so late. They shouldn't have resisted. They shouldn't have been looking so suspicious in my neighborhood. And better them than me. Better them than me. Better them than me. Have you ever heard of the story of the last angel that wanted to play God? and all of his friends who followed? Hmm. Well, keep dictating who deserves to die and who has served, seduced, and sucked off enough CEOs successfully silent enough to survive. And you'll find yourself infinitely chained in the ominous realm of souls that have been ordained to be tortured for all that they have slain. <sighs> it's been really hard for me to focus on myself lately. There's nothing to protect these beautiful brown bodies from the bullets that have been brilliantly magnetized to our earth-based shades from birth by the blacksmiths of our country's judicial system. And you know, there's a legend that lives under black tongues that caches the antidote. That if the cash stacks are thick enough and the accounts are strong enough, we'll be shielded from all storms. That's why some of us buy so wastefully, so that you'll see value when you see us. Because we know that our hearts, our souls, our hopes and dreams and livelihoods are all wrapped in these dark skin tones that have been deemed dangerous. But at least you'll see labels on our feet and hopefully won't replace them with toe tags. And the legend also sits in the hearts of children that with enough cash, they could build fortresses, big fortresses, sky high, with big moats that you'll need to get a big boat to bust through that'll be far away from all the racial slurs. Yeah, we do know that these are legends, but at the same time, we also all know that if we all dress comfortable, casual, and cost-efficient, that with just one glance, we'll just be all considered worthless creatures of the night that could be easily swept under a rug after being crushed under your boots, your knees, your several warning shots, and your silly little white lies. Which is why some of us wear diamonds and silver in our teeth so you see something precious in our smile and won't be so quick to dim something sweet. And you know, there's also a legend that lives in the lungs of the old Negro souls that education is the key, that the degrees will set us free, that they will prepare us a prosperous future and protect us from all the casualties that come with our culture and will wipe away our past. They say that this pretty little piece of paper will place us in palace-like properties with cubicles and neckties that'll protect us, but in actuality only give the murderers the easier opportunity to lynch us up close and personal. So I'm here to tell you, fuck your ties, fuck your feelings, and fuck your friends. Now is not the time to be neutral.